Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at the Yule Call Bethnal Green with Larry the Natural Ekandeo after his fifth round stoppage against Dale Evans in the British title eliminator. Larry, how do you feel? Feel great, feel great, thank you. Would you say that's your toughest fight to date? Um, I think every fight is tough. You know, I know it's going to be a hard fight. He's a good kid. Um, and I rate the fight 50 50. I take every, every fight 50 50, to be honest, because everyone comes to win. And, um, yeah. What was your trainer saying to you in the previous four rounds? Um, just um, discipline. You know, we, we had a game plan, and I stuck to it, and um, it pays off. So, how did training go in the preparation for this fight? Went well. I thank God, and also thank my sponsor, Harry Kent. They made it work, and um, yeah. And so you got it going as well. So I got it go. They've been, um, they, they're my sponsor. So yeah. That's good. A lot of sponsors help out boxers. Yes. Provide. Ben Lee, Ben Lee, Seat Wave, and Box Free. You know, all of those guys that made the training camp work well. So I say a big thank you to them. Now. In preparation for the fight, you uh, were sparring with Brian Rose. How did you find that? It was a great, it was a great experience. But actually, that was my previous fight. Oh. But it was a great experience getting in the ring with someone like um, Brian Rose. You know, that was that was brilliant. Do you think it helps you progress as a boxer, boxing with someone at his standard? Yes. You know, I think every every training and every sparring with someone that you know that's right at the top. You will always learn something, so I did, and that really helps as well. So thank you to Brian Rose as well. So what's next for you? Can we, can we see next in action? Um, I don't know. I leave that to my manager and um, my team, so they know what's next and um, whatever's there for us to do. We, we go on to that one. Okay, you had uh, quite a while out of the ring due to other problems, but now you're back. Is, can you? Are you fully focused on boxing now? Um, yes, I'm fully focused on boxing and also with my with my daughter's situation, we still got to keep an eye on her, she got to the hospital now and then, but the they, um, appointment is it, it, kind of getting longer and longer, so I have enough time to to focus and she's, she's coping well as well. Can you give us an update on your young daughter? Um, she was, um, I think it's about three weeks ago, we got a result from the doctor saying everything seems alright. The chemo is it's a bit of a heavy stage, but it was way better. They said it's, it's fine, everything is getting better. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the news now. So, we're going back in April and um, we have a look and see what's, what's there. Well, that's good, and obviously, the win tonight is even better. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, what can we expect within the next or sort of coming months? Are you going straight back into training or are you having a bit of a break? Um, it's no break for the weekend, it's no rest for the weekend, you see. So, um, I'm back on track now, probably get like a week off and I'm back in training. Alright then, well, Lau, all the best to your daughter and hopefully we'll see you out soon, okay? Thank you very much. Cheers, mate.